Extreme Moped Racing. Nothing like being a badass motherfucker driving a moped at extreme speeds. What are you, fucking Jeff and Matt Hardy? Oh my fucking god. So I found this game online a while back, and seeing the screenshots just made me shiver with fear. Or maybe I was sick or something. Maybe I had COVID-20, or COVID-18, or COVID-19, or COVID-777, or 666. Who knows what the fuck I had? Extreme Moped Racing was developed and published by Decron Software and was released in 2006 for PC. It was only released on PC. Now there's very little information out, and I found a site to download games called oldgames.ru, which is mostly in Russian, but gamedev.net had a little information. Basically, the creator, and I'm guessing was one person, is named Joni Mati. I'd probably butcher that, and if he ever sees this video, which I doubt, I do apologize. Sorta. He posted the game in 2006, and you have a single player mode and multiplayer, but I'm sure the multiplayer doesn't work, so you have the single player mode, you have a variety of tracks to choose from, 10 of them actually, and they are Finland 1, Finland 2, Cambodia, Mexico, UK Dirt Track, Tanzania, USA, Germany, Egypt, and Hawaii. The tracks are on an open area with hills, rocks, buildings, and more, depending on the environment you will be going through. You will do three laps on each track, and basically you are racing by yourself. I don't know about you, but this is already fucking and boring. After about a lap, I want to shut this fucker off. Now, the developer did say that this is his first 3D game, and in multiplayer mode, you can race against other players. Why couldn't he add computer opponents in single player mode? Can't be that hard. I mean, other games out there, like there are racing games, have computer opponents that are made by one person. Basically, this is no more than a tech demo. It's a good thing it's freeware, and you don't have to pay for this, because I would not pay fucking one cent for this motherfucker. I don't know why I'm saying fuck all the time in this video, but maybe it's because this game frustrated the shit out of me a little bit. The graphics, well, the track and environments are quite open, but the game is very bare bones looking. I mean, yes, there are trees, houses, and so on. Yeah, this is it. I mean, if it's somebody's first game, I can kind of give it a pass, but I'm guessing they were working with a very cheap, if not free program, and it was probably very outdated. The game does run very well, especially on my gaming laptop. Not much for glitching other than the backgrounds coming in the closer you get, which would be similar to like you see on the Nintendo 64. This is definitely not something I would say is worthy of being from 2006. It looks like something from 1998. The music, oh, oh, I don't like it one bit. Sounds like I'm at a rave or a shitty nightclub. Especially the first level, all I hear is oons, 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 and it's just not good. Granted, each track has different music, so that's good, I guess, but yeah. At the end of the day, it's not good. The sound effects, <laughs> this moped sounds like a dying cat. Then again, I've heard moped sound like shit. This must be a shitty moped. It just sounds horrible. The controls? Well, you accelerate and steer and brake with the arrow keys and all that type of shit. They are, they are somewhat responsive, maybe a little slow here and there. And the control on the keyboard to hit your boost? That's right, you have a boost to go faster. Pushing this moped to the point of death, like that dying cat, is easy to do. The steering does seem a little bit shitty at times to the point where you just fall over and then it restarts you and all that type of shit. It's playable, but that's about it. Extreme Moped Racing is not good. Granted, I get it, one man development team, and it's very outdated even for its time of its release, but I think a lot more could go into this. The idea of having a racing game is to have other opponents to race against, even computer opponents, and for the single player mode to not have that is a huge flaw to me. Not only that, multiplayer is useless at this point, and I'm sure it wasn't very good back when this game first came out. The graphics are nothing special. I mean, at least it doesn't glitch out or anything. The music is awful. The sound effects are just as bad. I mean, that moped sounds like shit. The controls are playable, but still has its flaws. I will praise the game for working on a newer operating system, especially Windows 10, which I was kind of suspicious on how it would run. So there's a positive point for the developer. I'm glad that this is a freeware game because nobody should pay for this. And glad that the developer was smart enough to not have a price tag on it. If you want to check out Extreme Moped Racing for yourself, you can find it online at a few places. Just do a Google search, but I mean, it's not something you're probably going to go out of your way to play. I hope you enjoyed this review of Extreme Moped Racing for PC. Thanks for watching.